This is a demonstration of my Linux desktop. This is still the new computer I just got. So I'm recording the desktop in this window here. I can move it around. You can see it's a wobbly window. That's what it's called when it goes like this. It is a bit jerky, but that's because I'm recording my desktop. When I'm not recording my desktop, it's full speed. Okay, my desktop is a cube, so I can rotate it around like that and look at all the sides of it. There's also I can also unfold it, go back and forth between the panes. There's an exposed view where I can see all four at the same time, and I can drag windows back and forth between desktops while I'm in this exposed view. I can move with a window to other desktops, or I can move without the window to other desktops. I have a, a file viewer here, which is showing my home folder. It is a Linux system. So there you go, that's the root directory. But usually you're only interested in your own folder. And, oh, moved with that one by accident. I have a dark and light theme hybrid. The, win the title bars are dark and so are the menus. So all my menus are dark in all my applications. But inside the applications themselves, in the window, it's a light theme. So it's a hybrid, dark and light theme. I'll show you one last thing. I'll go to YouTube here and I'll start a video up and I'll get right into the video. So if I unmaximize this window and move it halfway around the edge of the screen, if I tilt my cube, you can see that the video is still playing while it's wrapped around the window. So that just shows how integrated this entire 3D desktop is. So you got four sides, all of them are independent. You got an exposed view, which you can drag windows back and forth between. And then you got the cube view. You can swap window or turn the cube just using keyboard shortcuts. And that's about it. It's an XFC desktop. Got all the things like a Twitter client, you know, different applications. On Linux, the nice thing about the applications is for the vast majority of applications, they're all free. So everything you use on Windows and you have to pay money for under Linux, you can just download it for free from your package manager. Okay, that's about it.